Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel for today's video. The only thing that I'm using for the first time today is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. Otherwise, I'm just using makeup that I've been using for a few months that I just want to share with you. So if you want to see how I created that look and which product I used, please keep on watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Instagram. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. If you don't want to miss out, just click on that little bell down below so that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video on YouTube. Without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna put on is a serum. So I bought a few weeks ago the Hourglass number 28 Primer Serum. I did not want to commit to the full size uh, yet, but I heard great reviews about that one, so I was curious. And so I bought that mini version, which by the way, I have a feeling will last for a long time. So that's always nice if you don't want to commit to a full size. I know sometimes it's more expensive, but you know, it smells like very herbal very not medicinal just herbal healthy and it gives a very nice velvety glowy base and i really like it so i've been enjoying this a lot i like the texture i like the formula so far i always enjoyed my how my makeup looked like after applying that primer serum now for foundation there are two i wanted to talk about today the dior air flash spray foundation airbrushed radiance in the shade 301 so this little guy every time i'm going to a nice dinner or a nice event i want to wear that guy it gives me the most beautiful natural looking skin uh it's insane i i don't know why i waited so long to try it and i bought it with my points at shoppers the beauty boutique spritz it on my face i tried if you have like a full-on towel like around your face sure but what i like to do basically is using a very dense um, foundation brush one is my rodial airbrush foundation brush i just spritz some on the brush apply it and then I just dab with my sponge to finish. I might use this one today but I just want to talk about that little guy, the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. For reference I'm a shade Warm Beige 406. This gives a very nice skin. Now I've been breaking out very badly last week and I, I wore that quite a bit so I, I I need to investigate a bit more to see if it was that foundation which would be really sad because it's well it's drugstore I have a great skin day when I wear it but now afterwards I don't know if it broke me out or not but yeah I usually like not to apply it straight on my face but to um, basically dab my brush on it and apply it on my face. But for today's video, I am going to use the Dior Air Flash Foundation. Shake it well. And then I like to spray my brush. And this is the perfect shade for me. So I'm just gonna do one half my face with it just to show you i can say it's a september favorite actually not that it's a september favorite video but it could be for some of the products i'm going to show you i'm gonna zoom you in and that's the difference love the finish it looks so natural my i don't look like i wear foundation this is what i love about that one this one I will highly recommend. I know it's a higher price point, but if you can splurge, if you can use your points uh, or wait for the Sephora cells, um, it's just a great, great foundation. Now, I don't know how long before this little guy is going to be empty, so I'll keep you posted. And for reference, my I have dry to normal skin. So now the next little guy uh, is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I bought the shade Light 2. I'm quite impressed with it. I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. So very interesting applicator. It tends to apply a lot so a little goes a long way. Just gonna dab a few points, a few dots there and it's already a lot. That's the only thing with that applicator because it's so big, like I have a feeling you apply a lot 
very quickly so you have to be a bit careful about that and now I'm just using my sponge it blends very easily onto the foundation doesn't look dry at all and I have a feeling it sets by itself I really like it so for my eyebrows I'm just gonna brush them one thing I've been using again and I haven't used that thing for a very long time is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. That little guy. Yeah, and I've been using it again lately and I'm like, it's so fast. And I go all along at the bottom. And I'm not a pro for eyebrows, guys, so it's not a reference. But it's just like, I like that product because it's very quick. And then I just go upward. Oop. Like that. And finish because depending on the base I have very often like I use a pencil and it's too creamy and I end up like with like the bulkiest brows ever which can be a look not for every day then I brush if I want to hide I do that and boom okay brows are on and now to finish I put the hourglass arch brow shaping gel and that's the clear one I really like a little applicator. I really like how my brows look all day long and how they feel. Like they don't feel too cardboardish, you know, like cardboard. So they do tinted one too, but since like my eyebrows are pretty dense already, I prefer like to use a clear one. I really like that little guy. It's small, but I have a feeling a little goes a long way because I've been using that for more than a month now. So we'll see. I'm gonna finish the skin before starting the eyes. Something else from Hourglass that I really wanted to try because I heard a lot of like girls that I'm following on YouTube like raving about it is the Illum Sheer Color Trio in the shade Sunset. I'm not sure if there is another one. It's the one you know with the, um, the bronzer, the blush and the highlighter. So I've been using almost non-stop the bronzer shade. The blush is nice. The highlighter, it's okay, but it's not fantastic. So what I've, I've been doing, but this one is dirty. I want to show you. Like I've been using the Real Technique Mini Sponge, and I got a set at Marshalls. So I'm going to show you quickly, because sometimes they have Real Technique sponges, and honestly, they're my favorite sponges. So I got a, um, four of these, like for $19. And I got the mini ones, four mini ones, for like $8 on Marshalls. And I, like, yeah, if you can get your hands on it, they're really good. But this one is dirty, so I'm just going to go with this one. I'm going to go in the bronzer. And the bronzer, a little goes a long way too. I just love the color. I can sculpt with it and bronze. This one is not universal, obviously. Now, now it's not a very warm bronzer, so if you like something a bit warmer, you can just uh, apply some uh, of your favorite bronzer on top. But I really like, like on a day, I don't want to have too much. Like it gives that like sun-kissed um, look very natural because it's cream. Compared to my Soleil Tan de Chanel, it's cooler, I would say. I really love a Soleil Tan, but yeah, it's way warmer. I can do a little swatch actually for you. But it blends so easily on the skin, it's so nice. Real Technique has really good brushes too. This one is the sculpting brush. So I can use, I can apply that bronzer too with that brush. And what I like to do, I like to take the tip of that brush and I just, and there's a nice mirror, put it at the tip of my nose and a little bit right there and it gives a little illusion that you know, you got some sun on your nose and at the same time it gives the illusion that your nose is a bit higher if you have a longer, like thinner nose, like me the highlighter is okay, but I prefer their um, Vanish stick formula okay, so that's the trio and just for kicks, I'm going to show you my Soleil Tan de Chanel just next to it so we can compare, but I have a feeling it's warmer. It smells so good. Mm. 
yeah, definitely warmer. So it's almost like you could use Chanel for bronzer, this one for contour, but yeah. There you go, a little swatch comparison here. But overall, I like it. I like the blush too, but I want to show you something else today. I think oh, if it can come up just with that formula by itself, I would buy it by itself. For blush, you know what? I'm gonna wait to see what I'm gonna do on my eyes. Same thing for highlighter. And I'm really excited to jump into my eyes and use for the first time the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. Look at all these colors and I really like their theme. Basically um, they're telling you that you can take it for any occasions. The mirror is fantastic too, like it's so big. So basically I would say for the adventurer, the road warrior or the weekend escapist, no matter where you're going or what you're getting up to, Born to Run is the only palette you need to pack and never look back. From matte and neutral for meetings in San Francisco to jeweled and metallic must have for that weekend getaway in South Beach or completely smoked out at Saturday night dinner with Bay. Now we've got you covered with options for endless look with 21 curated shades, a huge mirror, I agree, and a collage of our own personal travel photos, we created Born to Run to inspire you to take a rain shake on reality. Now grab this palette and run. Such a cool theme. I haven't set my concealer, so I'm just gonna do that right now with the shade Weekender. This little guy. Looks like it could be my perfect skin color, skin match. It's even a bit darker actually. Let's see. Very pretty color actually for a transition shade, so we're gonna go for it. And it's not gonna be like a five looks one palette guys, it's just a quick review. I'm gonna use as many shades as I can to see how it works so far, but I'm, I'm so excited. And I know it's not a new one, but you can still get it. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm really not tempted by the new one, the Cherry palette. Did you buy that one? What do you think of it? Or do you want to buy it? Or are you interested? Now I'm gonna go to the shade... What are we going to do today? Well, I wanted to wear a red lipstick to be honest, so usually I would not do too much on my eyes. I'm gonna use the shade Riff, this guy, the MAC 217. Well, that's a pretty color. Wow. So I finished my book, Grit was such a good book by Angela Duckworth. I highly recommend it if you need some motivation. Now I just started The Handmaid's Tale and I haven't watched the show. I, want, I wanted to read the book before starting to watch the show. Have you read the book or did you watch the show? What do you think of it? Don't give me any spoiler please because I just be, I barely started like I, I read 80 pages so far, so no spoiler please, just like let me know if you're happy with the show or if you preferred the book. Uh, now I'm going with Good As Gone, brown shade, in the outer corner. It's easy to read, so maybe it's because I've been reading a lot of like self-help, like you know, motivation um, books lately, but it's just it's very pleasant to read. So let me know down below what are you reading right now, is there any podcast you're listening to? I've been listening to uh, Second Life by My Domain. It's really nice. Like she's basically interviewing successful women, ask them what they wanted to do first when they were kids, how they got like into what they're doing right now, and it's it's very pleasant uh, to listen to. I listen to her when I'm doing uh, my makeup, when I'm cooking, or when I'm painting. Very nice podcast, I'm getting into it. So if you have any suggestions for podcasts, let me know down below because I'm really getting into this too. Well, that is blending so well. well I'm gonna bring it down. I'm really impressed guys so far with that palette. I don't know, it's not you, I'm so late in the game, but of course I say that and I'm starting to mess up that, that eye. I don't know why for some reason, but I it's always harder for me to blend. So I'm taking a clean brush, big and fluffy, and that should help. And usually I notice it when I'm editing and it drives me nuts. There you go. Well, that's the best I can do, I think. But I'm pretty sure it's not the shadow because here I had no issue. 
Weekender, the first shadow we used. And I'm just gonna help blending. Okay, I'm just gonna use Breakaway, that pale shade right there, just under my brow bone to lift it a bit. Ooh, look at that. It works well. I'm really tempted to use Smog for today because we're doing something a bit more neutral. But oh guys, I'm gonna play with that palette more. So yeah, we're gonna go with Smog, this golden shade. And I'm gonna go right away with my finger because this is what I like to do. And I'm gonna place it in the center. Oh, Very pretty. Urban Decay. I'm not tempted at all by the cherry one, but this one is so nice. It's not sparkly, but it's just a beautiful color. It's a beautiful shimmery color. I'm really impressed. I'm impressed. Now in the inner corner, I take a small brush. I'm gonna go to Stranded. Sorry for my English. Right here. And I'm just gonna place it in the inner corner. Ooh! Okay. Smoking out the lower lash line a bit. I just checked the price. It's $59 Canadian dollars. Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna intensify a tiny bit. If good has gone in the outer corner. Love. First time using it and uh, I'm, I'm super impressed by that palette. So if you have points at Shoppers Drug Mart, beauty boutique, Get it? You know, if not, well, Sephora or Alta. Okay, now I'm gonna use an eye pencil. I'm not doing something a bit different. I'm gonna use Overdrive by Urban Decay. It's a 24-7 glide on eye pencils. I love all their eye pencils. They're so good. They stay in the, in the waterline and they're very pigmented. Mm, look at that. Beautiful green. Just gonna show you the color. And now I'm just gonna use the perversion to tight line. All right, so for mascara, I'm gonna curl my lashes first. I have to say, so I've been using the Hourglass Caution Mascara and I'm not a huge fan of it. Shocker, because I, I really love everything else Hourglass. <laughs> but this mascara doesn't do much for my upper lashes, but for the bottom ones, I love it. It doesn't smudge at all. And for some reason, it looks way thicker, longer at the bottom of my lashes than what it does for the top of my lashes. I've been using either the Rodial, which is really good. I know you don't hear a lot about that brand, but they have a very nice mascara that is cheaper than my Nasubi, but I love that is right here actually this one and the waterproof version one I have a feeling gives more curl to my lashes um, but it's a it's a pain to take it off but <laughs> it lasts you can go swimming with it so usually what I've been doing is like I've been using either this or this on my top lashes and then this one I kept it because it looks so good on my bottom lashes. For today, I'm gonna use my Rodial just to show you guys because, well, you've seen this should be on my channel a lot. So this is how the brush looks like. See that? All right, that, so that's the eyes finished. So on my cheeks, I'm gonna wear the Shiseido Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush in the shade Sayoko 06. So I bought two of these and I really like them. So this is how it comes. Cap. And then you have a little moussey formula. A little goes a long way. So usually what I like to do, I like to use my Eat Cosmetics Love Beauty Fully. They say that's a buffing mineral powder brush, but I use it for liquid blush and I I've been loving this. So I just go in there, little taps like that. And look at that. Very pigmented. It blends so well onto your skin. And that one particular is more of a rectone one. When I want like a, a day, I want to look like super fresh. You know, I will use a very light 
foundation and just this on the cheeks and it, it looks so youthful. I love it. And the little goes a long way so that will last you for a really long time. So for highlighter, you know what? I'm not sure where you can buy Inglot in Canada. Wow, you can get it online probably. But it just when I was away this summer, I bought the Jennifer Lopez Inglot Living the Highlight Illuminator Face, Eyes and Body. And this is such a gorgeous highlighter. So this comes like this. And then it comes with a little puff if you want to use it on your shoulders. Usually I use it on my body more than my face. I'm just gonna pour a bit in the cap. I've been using that all summer on my shoulders, my face. When I was um, on the beach this summer at night for dinner. So beautiful. Look at that. You see that? So yeah, comment down below if you know where to buy Inglot in Canada. This was a light dust, like I could use way more. But if you want something wearable, like glowy and wearable, like you just do that. If you want more, well, go for it. Look at that. Whoa, see that? So it can seem very sparkly first, but the more you dust, you know, you put your brush like this and you do that and the, the less sparkly it looks. And dust the rest on my forehead. I think this is such a beautiful highlighter. The the fact that it's like in a powder formula, a loose powder, like it makes me think of the artist couture actually. It's really nice, really beautiful. On to the lips. So I don't very often wear red on my lips, but this red is so beautiful. That's the Shiseido Modern Matte Powder Lipstick. So if you watch some of my other videos where I've been using a lot of these lately, they come like this in that packaging, magnetic packaging. I believe they bought NARS. They revamped their entire line and the packaging looks beautiful. It's black and red, <clears throat> a little bit reminiscent of NARS. But the formula of their products, well, the blush, beautiful, and the lipsticks. I haven't tried like the new eyeshadow palettes, but I don't know. So far, I'm really, really impressed. I'm gonna show you nightlife. It might be a bit too much with that look. I was not planning on doing something that smoky, but uh, I usually go with the rule like red on the lips, okay, light on the eyes, but just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you that color. So this is how it comes, and look at that bullet. So pretty. Okay, and you know what? Because of the shape of that bullet, I'm not gonna use a lip liner. So easy to apply. Yeah, this is such a creamy formula yet matte. I just love how it feels. It doesn't dry my lips at all. But right now, with that look, to me it's a bit much. Mm, but I just wanted to show you that color that is so, so pretty. So that was the shade Nightlife. An easy fix. Hmm? Boom! <laughs> so instead, I'm going to use Nude Strike. Very nude shade. That looks better with that look. Alright, well, I think that is all for today's video. What do you guys think of all these products? Have you tried any of these? Have you tried that eyeshadow palette? Let me know down below. Any suggestions for good books, good shows to watch? I'm taking everything into consideration. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.